Hey guys, welcome back to Psalms in Solitude, where we're walking through the Psalms together during this coronavirus season. We're continuing right along today on day 36 of Psalms in Solitude, bringing us to Psalm 36. Really, really cool psalm, really unique psalm, because we see this huge contrast in Psalm 36 between, on the one hand, you have David recognizing the great evil that is around him, the wickedness that just surrounds him in his day. But then on the other hand, David is very clear to point out uh, just the profound goodness of God that he sees in Cantonite and wants to praise him for. And so David sees these two contrasts. And what does he do in the midst of those great contrasts? He prays that the Lord and his goodness would prevail. And so let's read that together today. This is Psalm 36. David says, An oracle within my heart concerning the transgression of the wicked person. Dread of God has no effect on him. For with his flattering opinion of himself, he does not discover and hate his iniquity. The words from his mouth are malicious and deceptive. He has stopped acting wisely and doing good. Even on his bed, he he makes malicious plans. He sets himself on a path that is not good, and he does not reject evil. Now here's the goodness of God. Lord, your faithful love reaches to heaven, your faithfulness to the clouds. Your righteousness is like the highest mountains, your judgments like the deepest sea. Lord, you preserve people and animals. How priceless your faithful love is, God. People take refuge in the shadow of your wings. They are filled from the abundance of your house. You let them drink from your refreshing stream. For the wellspring of life is with you. By means of your light, we see light. Let me read that again. For the wellspring of life is with you. By means of your light, we see light. Now here's the prayer. Spread your faithful love over those who know you and your righteousness over the upright in heart. Do not let the foot of the arrogant come near me or the hand of the wicked drive me away. There, the evildoers have fallen. They have been thrown down and cannot rise. What a helpful song for us to see today because we also in our day, and I don't just mean this week, although I do very much mean this week, but in our day, we also see great wickedness all around it. And yet we as Christians see the great goodness of God all around us. And so we too find ourselves in the tension of seeing all of the evil in our world, but also seeing God at work and his goodness. And so what does David do? He is open about the wickedness and he points out that wickedness to the Lord. He describes this wicked man all too familiarly to us in verse 3. The words from his mouth are malicious and deceptive. He has stopped acting wisely and doing good. How familiar does that sound to us? But David doesn't continue to fixate on the evil around him. He also looks to the goodness of God. If you'll allow me, I want to read those four verses again because I think that my heart needs it this week and I think that yours may as well. This is verse 5. Lord, your faithful love reaches to heaven, your faithfulness to the clouds. Your righteousness is like the highest mountains, your judgments like the deepest sea. Lord, you preserve people and animals. How priceless your faithful love is, God. People take refuge in the shadow of your wings. They are filled from the abundance of your house. Let them drink from your refreshing stream. For the wellspring of life is with you. By means of your light, we see light. Even with evil swirling, David knows and is able to articulate the goodness of God that he sees around him. That stark contrast that he sees leads David, as it should us, to prayer. Prayer that God's goodness would prevail over the wicked. Spread your faithful love, David asks the Lord. And don't let the arrogant, the feet of the arrogant come near me. What a prayer for David to pray. And how fitting it is for us as well to pray in our own day. 
both now and for the rest of our days here on earth. So I encourage you this day, we're on Friday, but also through the weekend until we get to that beautiful Psalm 37 on Monday. Let's join David in praying for the Lord to defeat the wickedness that we see around us, but also to look to the goodness of God that we see around us, even in an evil and depraved generation. And ultimately, let's look to the blessed hope that we have in Christ, that he has defeated wickedness, and one day he will come back to destroy that wickedness once and for all, for our day and for any day to come. Lord, come quickly. We'll see you next week for Psalm 37.